Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I've got dishes going, you know, all the fun chores that you do on the weekend. Isaiah is still asleep. This is where he ended up last night. He's getting ready for college. You know where you just pass out wherever. Hey, girlfriend. Come here. Ah. Uh, She's gonna go look out the window because the guy is cutting the grass right now. These two, you guys have been up playing, if that's what we wanna call it. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, how are you? Everybody's happy, oh yeah, that's good. Go after his tail. Where's Asa? Where are you? There he is. Freezing. Freezing. Well, let me turn the heat on. No, we don't need the heat on, you'll be okay. You put more clothes on. So, you are going to spend the day with me vlogging. <coughs> Yay for you. Yay. <laughs> How many times a day are we gonna take you off this counter? We don't do that in this house. Are you gonna cook breakfast for us? Hi. So, fun fact, I do not like to cook breakfast. Like you're, you're not bad at cooking eggs. Though. Like you but, say that you don't know how, but you're pretty good at it. But you're our breakfast chef around. Here. Every time that you got tired of waiting for me to cook uh, and <laughs> right? for breakfast and did it, you did a good job. So. Thanks. But yeah, I don't prefer cooking breakfast. I mean, I've learned how to do things. Okay, comment down below: crunchy bacon or floppy bacon? Oh, natural smoke. Good job. Yeah. Ace is gonna cook breakfast for us. You used to cook breakfast a lot more often. Every Sunday. Yeah. And we got away from that for some reason. We need to get we back work, to that. We work from home, that's why. True. I feel like that's the reason why. Yeah. So, here we go. Maybe I'll get some B-roll of you cooking breakfast. Oh. Yeah, wait for it. What, are you breaking my oven? No, you know, it was like, oh, don't buy a Samsung, they're junk. Not broke, just, just came apart. Second Whirlpool and like, don't be breaking my appliances, Mr. I didn't, babe. I turned literally turned the knob and it just it just cracked. Okay, you are the best. Breakfast was awesome. Oh, I mean, it was just bacon and eggs. Hey, I don't know about the best. it's simple. It was good. Where do we put the eggs in here? I almost forgot I got a new box in from Grove Collaborative. Not sponsored, just like the products. Do you guys use Grove? Like, comment down below. I think, I'm pretty sure I ordered some false scents. So let's see, because I have to clean the counter. Hold on, I need another hand to carry the box. Ugh. I got it. Let's go open it and see what's in here. Do you guys have a favorite scent from Grove? Lavender. I like the lavender, yeah, that's my favorite. I'm pretty sure I got some false scents. Limited edition scent. Let's see what it smells like. It's like apple cider. Oh yeah, that does smell good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It makes you feel like it's full. Does anybody watch this show? What's it called? Uh, Designated Survivor. So good. We don't watch TV, but every once in a while we'll get into it. Something like we find on Netflix. Yeah. So good, right? It is. We started watching it when we went to Vegas. Yeah. Ace is way ahead of me now. He, he was rude and didn't wait for me. Well, you fall asleep. <laughs> Anytime you turn TV on, I'm done. Yeah. Like, it just smells, oh, it smells so good. So, funny fact, Asa does not like the TV to be on in vlogs. Like he, if the TV is on, you turn it off. Yeah, but it's all you can hear like, in the background. It's like real life today, okay? We're doing real life stuff. Yeah. We're not doing fancy, it's fancy like, vlogging. You, know, doing you have that like background chatter going on. Yeah. Like they can hear you Stop just as chattering. well as they can hear the TV. Stop chattering. So what do you guys do on Saturdays? You know, a lot of Saturdays we're gone. We don't get to like hang out and just have family time and stuff like that. This Saturday we have nothing planned. So I plan on working on some laundry. Of course we're gonna clean up after breakfast, but just make a couple videos for our channels. And yeah, is that it? We're covered. We always use Saturdays are always like, a, like the days that Abby sleeps the most and 
like she'll take naps and we did and we recover on Saturdays it feels like yeah from going all week and just because we um we wake up around 6 30 in the morning and we go to bed I mean I try to go to bed around between 12 and 1 Asa sometimes says that but a lot of times he doesn't go to bed till later than that right yeah but everybody slept in today yeah yeah so we use saturdays to recover a lot of times yeah get her maverick she's over here Where? you want to play is she attacking you while you're doing laundry she all the things that keep hanging down stop attacking me stop it this is why i'm not a fan one of the things on my list today is get the back patio a little cleaned up stuff i've been neglecting so back when we moved i got rid of a lot of my equipment um i don't even know that i owned hedge trimmers at any point but so we have a guy that comes out that does like the hedges and stuff like that around here and um so he cut the strand of lights right here cut the cable when he's trimming the hedges so i gotta fix that nice young man though accidents happen he works hard he does everything I asked him to do. Can't complain. And I have more cable, so it's no big deal. I had leftovers. It's much better. Cleaned up, right? Yeah, all cleaned yeah. up. Looks good. Yeah, it's too cold to hang out outside, though. So. Yep. I don't know why we even did it. <laughs> it's all about appearances. It's just chilly out, so. And it's kind of like misting at the same time, so it makes it not fun. Oh, yeah. Taking photos, that was rough. It was freaking cold. Oh come on! It, it was raining on me while yeah, the, I was yeah, walking. Yeah, rain, raining and chilly sucks. And it was windy in downtown Jacks. It's basically Chicago. Pretty much windy city. Do you know how much everybody loves you? Your mom, your dad, your brothers, your whole family. Brothers, brother, Maverick's a brother. Hey. What do you what do you what do you want? You, you want no? That's break. You want open? Yeah. Listen, you just had lunch. Okay, then go take a break. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I butted you. Do you think Abby knows how much she's loved? I think so. Like, do you think she? I don't know. So one of the things that <laughs> one of the things that I was talking about yesterday I think it was when Abby was up um, super early and like yelling and stuff and, and like I was like having a conversation with her downstairs you know mm -hmm. and I was like Abby I was like you have to be quiet you cannot you cannot wake everybody up you know it's not okay to have a negative impact on other people's lives in general right and she just doesn't understand that and and then there's part of it like like she'll steal your food in a heartbeat yeah doesn't matter does not care there is a lack of empathy that exists there. And I'm not saying she's, you know, non-empathetic. And I'm not saying that because um, it's always been a, a misnomer that, that people with autism do not have empathy. Right. And that's just not true. Um, but I think it does extend more than just social appropriateness with Abby and understanding it and not understanding it. There is some lack of empathy going on there. Um, I think some people do have a lack of empathy and it's, it's kind of heartbreaking sometimes. Yeah. Like that's the one thing, like if, if I could change anything, I would want her to care more. About others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's the one, you know, to reciprocate that love that we show to her. Right. In a more appropriate manner. I mean, and she does, but only on her own terms. Right. Exactly. Like. If she wants to give you a hug, she'll give you a hug, but it's on her terms. Right. She wants um, to cuddle with you or whatever. Yeah. Um, and it's it's kind of tough. Like, that's that's a hard part of raising a kid. And I know we've had kid. people ask, like, do we have a button on her iPad for her to say I love you back when she, we say it to her? But I don't think she would use it effectively. Right. It's no different. Like, I mean, let's be completely honest. Like, when we ask her for a kiss... You know, or whatever, or a hug, or it's for us. Right. It's not for her. Um, she doesn't, you know, I think that she needs affection just like every other human being does. But. But she doesn't always want it. It's not for her. It's yeah. it's for us. You know, she, she she's indifferent. 
I think. So that's a hard part, you know. It's it's not an opinion. It's not like a we don't you know, it's that's just how it is. It's how it is for a lot of and I a know lot people, of loved ones of autistic people. Right. And I and we understand, like we um are fully aware of this is how it is. We don't always talk about it. Mm -hmm. And so I think people, you know, I think some of our um close YouTube family members are like I hope that, you know, when Asa and, I, and Priscilla realize this, it doesn't, it's not heartbreaking. And we get it, but yeah, we can't we stay in that spot. Like, mm -hmm. then we wouldn't ever be happy if we stayed in those spots. So, we get, we know where Abigail is, guys. Like, that's, we're not oblivious to our future with and her. It, and it frust like, we get frustrated with it. Like, I get frustrated. I was frustrated yesterday morning that she was, you know, like, she didn't care about anybody else. She mm -hmm. just wanted to stomp around the house and yell and wake everybody up and um i get frustrated you always get frustrated with right. it, you know things like that but but it is what it is and we accept it and like priscilla said we choose not to live in that and that's so i want you guys to not live in it you know because it'll it'll keep you down if you think about like the future yes you have to think about the future and plan for the future that's what we're planning for you know that was our whole goal of purchasing this house is because we know that abigail will be with us forever and um so plan for those things, but don't stay don't there dwell. every day. Yeah. Like don't don't do that to yourself because you won't be a happy person, and you need to be happy. Like you, this can't take your happiness away. It's important to, to accept and recognize mm -hmm. those negative things. You know, right. Abigail's lack of empathy and the fact that she is probably never going to express um, how she feels about us the way you know the way that we are. Right. It's it's important to accept and recognize those things. But like Priscilla said, you don't have to live in it. Right. You know, live in the happy. Yeah. Good talk. And she's taking her nap. You are so loved, little girl. So loved. Mm -hmm. Been napping? Girl, you just you just enjoying your Saturday? Keep your hand in your mouth, please. Ugh, that's so annoying, Silla. Closed captioning. And they just they're just lazy about it so i pay for closed captioning on every video it's a dollar a minute for closed captioning and i provide the names of everyone uh, so that they can put the names in there because you know the reason that we do it as soon as we could afford to do it we did closed captioning on every vlog um as long as it's up on time for when the video goes up well we miss a couple to be honest but almost every one of them is closed caption now and you know because we want it to be inclusive right and we're all about inclusivity so we want to do that so I pay for it to get done, and I, I just, it frustrates me when people, they, it's their job to do it, and they're not accurate, and they call like me father, and Priscilla mother, and Abby girl, and Isaiah boy, stuff like that, it, it bugs me. I just feel like, like if you're going to do a job, do it to the best of your ability, no matter what it is. If you're captioning a video, if you're, if you're serving burgers at, at McDonald's, do it to the best of your ability. Doesn't matter how much it pays, doesn't matter you know, what the job is or how important it is or how little importance you give the job, every job should be important. It's a pet peeve of mine. It's like returning shopping carts at the grocery store. Just do it. Do a good job. Hey, do you want to go? Do you want to go with me? Hey, listen. We're just going to get food, okay? Is that okay? Are you hungry? You're in these shoes. You'll probably grab a hoodie. Girl, you look like a walking jigsaw puzzle. A Zaxby's commercial came on TV. And it got me. I was like, man, I want some Zaxby's. And then it came on again like five minutes later, and Abby like jumped over on the couch next to me. She's like, eat, eat. <laughs> they got you too, huh, girl? Maybe get some Zaxby's chicken. Does everywhere have Zaxby's? I don't know if they do. Like, is it like a regional fast food? Better than fast food joint. <laughs> this is yeah, okay. This is what we're getting. I'm glad. I really didn't ask you before we left. <laughs> Girl. Girl, you love you some chicken. Shut the door. Hey, door. 
Thank you. Ab, come on. What are you doing? I'm not really an Auburn fan. I just, I don't like Georgia. I'm sorry if you're from Georgia. I just, I don't like it as a whole. Like all of Georgia. Oh my gosh, you can't be offensive. It's just so south. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I don't know why. That's a weird thing. Uh, I don't know. It's Georgia. I don't, I don't like the mascot. Bulldogs. Oh, he's so cute. Ugh, bulldogs. Who's bulldog? I'm sorry, please don't stop watching if you're from Georgia. I apologize. I don't mean it. Kind of do. I don't. I would be so mad if someone said that about South Carolina. A lot of people don't like Florida. That's okay, I'm not from Florida. I'm allowed to say it. I'm allowed to have an opinion about a state. Oh about our whole state. I like Savannah. Well, then there you go. You like some Sav parts of Florida. Sav Georgia. Savannah's pretty. <laughs> Atlanta? Yuck. Yuck. I went to a training in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia, which is basically Atlanta. Yuck. Didn't care for Atlanta very much. Okay. Nebraska. Oh, no, I don't like Nebraska. Oh, you're not allowed. You're allowed to live in Nebraska. They do live in Nebraska. You're allowed to not like Nebraska, but I can't not like Georgia? There's like, if we drove through Nebraska. Right, well we, we've like experienced more of Georgia than just driving through it. We, driving cross country, Nebraska would never end. Like, never. We, we decided that like, we were not gonna stop until we got out of Nebraska because we were camping. We drove cross country when we moved to Oregon when we were, when we were in the Coast Guard and we moved ourselves so we were driving cross country and it was, Nebraska's just so long and straight and so much corn. Like that's what you think about of Nebraska, that's Nebraska. Endless cornfields, never stops. Just straight line, no end to it. Congrats, Georgia. Ugh. What's up? Sweetheart, you just had dinner, you don't need a snack. You don't, you don't need anything. Okay. I got one pants leg up. You riding a bicycle? Hey, I had fun hanging out with you. Abby and I were watching football yeah. and Christmas decorating videos because it's all about balance, huh? Right. Hey, I had fun. Boys are hanging out. Girls are hanging out. I love you. Good night. Good night. I love you. See if people just sleep in sweatshirts and you don't have to turn the heat on. Come on, tuck in. I already took her to the bathroom and she's had her meds. Okay. Good night, Ab. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. So, I didn't do very good at mom vlogging today because, well, Abby and I literally just hung out and I folded clothes all day. I got all the laundry done except for one load. Um, and we were in our pajamas all day today. Like that never happens in the Moss household. We should have you do a uh, mom vlog when like... Not on the weekend when we don't have anything going on. Right, but you know like those times when, when I have to do, go do something, you have to go do something else. Yeah. And you're like with the kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Should we do a mom vlog then? Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. For sure. Let me know if you guys want to see mom vlogs. Mom vlogs. <laughs> Recharge day tomorrow. Kicking it. Yep. Kicking it old school stuff. Oh yeah? I don't know what that means. I don't know. Jaguars are playing. I know that's happening. I really want to make a pot of chili. Isaiah does not like chili. Well, that's fine. Okay. I, I, really I want, want your chili really I bad. I really want to make chili. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us on our lazy Saturday. We will see you next time. Bye, guys. Live in the happy. Yeah. Did you just poke me? Oh, uh, no, I was oh. making it where you can see my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Real life here. <laughs>